Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It's been a couple weeks since I've played, so I kind of forgot pretty much everything that I was doing. But I kind of just quickly refreshed myself. So I've got some idea. And also, I think it's finally time to deal with my attribute points. So I've had these floating around ever since I reached level 30. So I've had them for quite a while. Let's go ahead and spend them. So for most of these people, I'm going to spend it on Awareness, because that increases their combat initiative. Um, everything else doesn't really give them anything particularly interesting. For most of them. So. Some more Awareness there. And some more Awareness. For Theodore, since he is a Charisma sort of person, and I'm not worried about his combat, I am going to give him up to 10 Charisma. He is complete crap at combat. But damn is he charismatic. And then, yeah, awareness for you too. For Vulture's Cry, however, I'm going to give her one more coordination because it gives her another action point. And then awareness for you too. And we are done. And at the end of the last episode, we did just find out about Mistress Veronica being in love with someone. Which is something that Heidi suspected. Now, the quest tells me we got Veronica to admit that she's in love. We better tell Heidi. I don't remember whether I noticed that in the last episode, but I don't think I want to tell Heidi. Because if I tell Heidi, then she's probably just going to let Veronica go. Because she'll be useless. So I don't think I actually want to. But I do want to find... I do want to find Veronica's broken man. The masked man. No idea where he might be. I don't feel like I've actually spoken to him before. But I don't want to keep an eye out for him. So aside from that, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um, I remember Ma Brown was going to open up her shop pretty soon. I don't know if she's done it yet. It looks like no. Nope. Aside from that, I guess I'm going to try going Hello. here. If I remember right, I think this led somewhere interesting. Also, what happened with that guy that I met in Los Feliz? Like, didn't he want me to help him find his brother or something? Did, did he end up dying or something? I can't remember. Alright, where was this going to take me? Ah, right, Griffith Park. I'm not going to get it, like, shot at as soon as I go through here, am I? I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do in Griffith Park. I seem to be entering the mines. Yeah, so what am I doing here? We need to hook up a repeater unit to the radio tower in Griffith Park. Oh, right. Yeah, and the rumors that the gods of militia in Griffith are stockpiling stockpiling zeolite. Right. Whoa. That's really cool. So yeah, they're not going to try to shoot me, are they? Hello! Nah, they're cool. Oh hey, you got prisoners. What the hell did they just say? That man wants to have sex with me? Who is that man? Ascension McDade? Hmm. This is most distressing. As McDade holds gestures with his hands, you notice what looks like the long-heeled scars of old rope burns, half hidden under his cuffs. Either he was a prisoner himself at one point, or he's into some pretty kinky stuff. Hmm. So, you are all eager would-be torturers, are you? Or are you? Are those ranger uniforms you wear? A troop of desert rangers have come to follow the path of James King and Red Samson? I admit I'm surprised, but if you insist... Actually... 
Actually, I came to bring you all to Jesus. You're gonna get to meet him. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell I want to do. Tell me about Red Samson. Man of Faith, blah blah blah, James King. Blah blah blah. Don't suppose you know anything about this broken man? How, how do you know that name? Oh wait, are you that person? Have you threatened her? Hurt her? If you've touched a single hair on her head, I'll... Oh god, I've betrayed myself, haven't I? Well, job well done, Rangers. I don't know who you work for. Mayweather, Jones, it doesn't matter. You can tell them I have indeed sinned against the church. And I will accept whatever punishment they met out. It cannot be worse than that which I have been contemplating for myself. Oh, so he is the person. Hmm. Well, this could work out in my favor. Maybe. So I guess I can just tell him to return to Veronica. But before that, let's try to get some information from him. Tell me about Church Church Ecstatic. They are meant to be our spiritual and intellectual leaders. Keeping us on the path of righteousness. But I see little evidence of it. Our duty, as James King and Red Samson defined it, was to convert the lost and cleanse the wicked. Hoarding wealth and clinging to power was no part of it. And yet that seems to be all they do. Nevertheless, if you have a gift for gab and a winning smile, they may be the branch for you. See Evangelist Mayweather in the chapel, and good luck to you. Hmm. A gift for Gab. Well, I certainly have that. Got ten smartass and ten kissass. Tell me about Mayweather. I don't care to speak ill of the leader of our church, so I won't. He is a charismatic man, as is necessary for the position he holds, and he has a loyalty of his troops. But I'm afraid he has lost mine. Okay, and Church Militant. The Heroes of the Salvation Church. Knights of the Red Messiah, who convert the wicked with shotgun and bayonet. <laughs> okay, so pretty much know what that is just by the name itself. Church Militant. And Vigilant. Eyes and ears of the militia. So, spies, information gatherers. Gotcha. Uh, what about a Retribution Jones? Megalomaniac with dreams of empire swirling in his bloodthirsty brain. Hmm. Okay, go back to Veronica. It has ruined me. I can no longer do my job. How can I root out sinners when I no longer know what sin is? I used to believe that all within the militia were, by definition, without sin, and all outside were tainted. But Veronica has shown me that virtue is not exclusive to the faithful. Well, my fellows in the militia have proved that sin is not exclusive to the heathens. I don't know what to do. I have contemplated leaving the church and going to her, but I'm afraid she would reject me, knowing what I truly am. Listen, would you tell her? I know a brave man would do this himself, but I could not bear to stand before her if she hated me. If she will have me as I am, tell me, and I will go see her. Uh... I have no idea. How am I supposed to know? Sure, whatever you want. Thank you, Rangers. I know it is more than I should ask, and I am grateful. I await your return with fear and hope. Oh, wait. I thought he was asking me if she would have him. I think I was just saying yes that I would go ask her, I guess. Is that... we found it. Not sure how she's going to react to that. Oh yeah, okay. That was weird. I mean, that makes more sense, but the way the quest was laid out made it sound like I was actually answering for her right then and there. 
Alright, well, I think he's probably gonna try to kill me if I start, like, letting out the prisoners, so... I think I should go back to her right now. Have a level up. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Congratulations. Eight points, nice. Don't need lock picking or computer science. I suppose it's all rifles. Damn. Now, if I could only remember how to get to the basement. Is it here? Uh, yes. Did you find my broken man, rangers? Well, I didn't find no broken man rangers, but I did find a broken man. He's Ascension McDade? Are you sure? Oh god, how, how can this be? How can I have fallen in love with one of those hate mongers? Uh... But he loves you! He, he said that? I don't know what to say. I knew he was tortured. A guilt not even the most brutal scourging could not... Wait, what? A guilt not even the most brutal scourging could not free him f What? A guilt not even the most brutal scourging could not free him from. That's a double negative, anyway. And now I guess I know why. I don't know. I don't know. It seems impossible that I could accept someone who does what he does, but... But if he, a man of the church, can accept someone who does what I do, then who am I to be unbending? If you will have me as I am, then I will have him as he is. Oh, hello. Veronica, I didn't dare to hope. Beloved, you came to me. Have, have you left the church? If that's what you want. But as these rangers know, I've been working to change it from within, trying to guide it with the principles you have awakened in me. I want to make the church a weapon against true sin, against tyranny, slavery, and injustice. I want to make it something you'd be proud to be connected with. Wait, but as these rangers know... Did I know that? Maybe I skipped over that in the dialogue. Uh, yeah, he's a great person who's trying to do great things. It's hard to believe so fanatical an organization could change so much. But if you believe it, then I will... Oh, but wait, Heidi is planning to attack the Bastion as we speak. Your plan may never have a chance to succeed. Rangers, listen to me. As much as I've hated the militia, I've hated the idea of war more... And now Ascension has given us a way to stop it. With him in power, the church will change, and Heidi will have no need to attack. Can you go to her? Plead with her? She... Oh, forget it. I can't fool myself. She won't listen. She's as hidebound as the militia. She wants this war as much as they do. I'm sorry, Ascension. It's hopeless. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. You could do what I'm doing. I can't convince my leaders to change. So I'm forced to become a leader myself. Me? Become the leader of Hollywood? <laughs> Heidi rules the council. No one would turn against her. Haven't you told me that they've all asked her for help and she refused? That she's been so focused on war that she's put off everything else? What if you promised them that peace would solve all their problems? 
Rangers, please, I can't do this. Heidi would suspect something. But if you acted as my emissary, it might work. Go to the five HCC members and ask what it would take to get them to vote Heidi out of office and vote me in. Once you've secured their, secured their votes, come back and we'll go to the next HCC meeting. We'll need at least four votes to get a majority. Will you help? The hope of peace is in your hands. Of course. Thank you, Rangers. Thank you. Now, the HCC rules are clear. A simple majority can vote out the incumbent chairperson. So return as soon as you're certain of at least four votes. And if you find it hard to convince any of the HCC members to vote against Heidi, let me know. I may be able to think of something. Goodbye, darling. I need to return to the Bastion to lay the groundwork for peace. Okay. And, uh, by the way, who in the hell are the HCC peer uh, members? Like, who are they? Hmm. She won't tell me. I don't know who they are. Let me see if I can say anything to Heidi. I don't think I want to. Have you spoken to Veronica, learned anything interesting? Um, no. Uh, nothing here. Whoa, wait a minute. I think Pazepi wants some sex. Tell me, your employees will sleep with anyone if they have the money? It, even someone like me? Oh, Rangers, I'm embarrassed to ask, but could I? It's always been more a matter of duty rather than joy in Darwin. But here... Well, I don't know if paying someone to have sex with you is necessarily a matter of joy, but, uh... Sure. Oh god, we're gonna have another crusty clam, aren't we? Hey, if she wants to. Who shall we pick? How about Billy D? I have no interest in you. What? Rude. All right. Dean? Nah. The Hoff. Wait. Hello? Jesus, she's getting blanked everywhere. All right. Dean. Um... Anyone? Why doesn't it work? Is it because she's green? Is everybody racist? Oh my god! Nobody? Now, hold on. Is it because she's green? Is, it, is that actually the reason? Let me try someone else. No, it's not. Why don't they have any interest in us? I don't think I have to ask about them specifically, do I? No? Well, fine, then. I know it's kind of awkward because we're kind of working for her, but, um, I don't suppose we can still indulge a little bit? Um, <clears throat> I'd, uh, like to indulge. 
Then let me tell you of the servants of the dream. If you enjoy mastering women, then the lovely Gwyn will delight you as she submits to your every whim. If instead you want the woman to take charge, Mistress Leah will be happy to grind you beneath her patent leather heels. If you enjoy mastering men, then you must meet the winsome Eric, for he is a very naughty boy indeed. And if instead you enjoy being mastered, then the Master Sergeant looks forward to making you crawl. And if you dream, if you're if you dreams fall beyond these four fantasies, I will do my best to make them a reality. Which shall it be? Um... I have no idea. Eric? Yeah, why don't you have fun mastering Eric? Eric is in the arch behind you. Second door on your left. Okay. Hello. You have been a naughty, naughty boy. Hopefully you don't give Pazepi a crusty clam. <laughs> no! The crusty clam again! Oh well. Hopefully you had fun. Some more antibiotics. <laughs> they should just give out free antibiotics in this place. Wait, who the hell are you? Wait, are you the brother that... I I'm, I'm trying to find your brother? Or what? Who are you? Hello? The fuck? <laughs> okay, I literally have no idea who this guy is. I'm confused. Uh, alright. Cool. Now, HCC. Who are the HCC council members? Don't suppose Officer Lamb is one? No, you're with the HSB. Who is... I, I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to dig around in the information that I have and see if I can find out who I'm supposed to actually be talking to. Okay, well, I found this Welcome to Hollywood pamphlet, which describes the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, the HCC. But, it doesn't mention anything about who's in it, or where in the hell it is. At least as far as I can tell. So, I'm thinking there's maybe a building, like an HCC building somewhere that I just have never found and it's got all the members inside of it. Not quite sure. But one thing I am sure of is that Hotel California is right here and I've never visited it. This is apparently where the that nasty drug comes from. I can't remember the name of the drug. Was it salt or something? But let's check it out. <laughs> Maybe, we can catch, Maybe we can catch some HCC members doing illegal things and blackmail them to get their votes. Yep, salt junkie. That's not money, that's a bunch of bottle caps. Come back when you've got ten bucks. Uh. Oh. I thought I clicked on him. I said no vacancy, we're full up. But you let other customers in. Okay, I'll be clear. No vacancy for you. Now scram. But, 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 salt. Whoa, what the f are you serious? Okay. Touchy people. Not gonna feel bad about killing y'all. Philip. Morris. Don. Philip Morris. 
Let's see if I can remember how to do combat in this game. I think you click the button and you click on people's heads and then they explode like a blood sausage. Oh right, I have some new weapons, don't I? Yes I do. Yes I does. Damn, that's a nice pistol. 60 and 48. I think those were crits. And what's her armor? Five? Yeah, not gonna be using an energy weapon then. I could just burst fire you, I suppose. Sure. Wonderful. Dawn is not struck by hot lead. Ah, yes, I have the new death ray. Can't wait to use that thing, but unfortunately right now is not the time. Oh yeah, and I've got this weapon. I've got so many new weapons. Eight bursts. If I remember right, the burst on this thing was crap. Isn't it? It is kind of crappy. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. At least for the amount for the amount of AP that she has, because she has just enough AP to do two single shots, but only one burst, and one burst is five shots, whereas two single shots or two single bursts is uh, six shots. So if, if you do single shots, you not only have better accuracy and more control over who you want to hit, but you just simply do more damage. Alright, we got him. Yeah, get him, Alex. Who are you again? Blew off his legs by hitting him in the head. Makes sense. Ooh. Fn Val. Fin Val. Finful. Fufful. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. This is Santa Fe Base. Over. Congratulations. There's a whole hell of a lot of levels, too. Got Helen. Six points, okay. Hmm. Let's upgrade her snipping. Yulia, seven points. No point demolition, because she has the dowsing rod. And by the way, please don't actually use dowsing rods for, well, anything. Especially not demolition-related stuff. I think it wasn't... Wasn't there actually... Well, not just one case, but weren't there multiple cases of... Various government organizations actually purchasing dowsing rods in an attempt to use them to find, um, I, I guess bombs being transported or maybe IEDs or something like that. Just trying to find explosives. That is so fucking stupid. Yeah, don't use dowsing rods for anything. I mean, trying to use them to find water is dumb, but trying to use them to find bombs is incredibly dangerous. So don't need to upgrade demolitions, don't have enough to upgrade energy weapons or shotguns, so I'm just gonna save it. Nine points, nice. Safe cracking, pointless. 
Sniper rifle. Sure. Um, actually. No, yeah, let's do sniper rifle. Commit those points. Mm. Mm. Mechanical repair, pointless. Computer science, pointless. Alarm disarming. Eh. Uh, let's do brawling. Try to make him semi useful. I'm using that term loosely. I feel like this thing's electrified. I guess I'm just hearing this light buzzing, but seriously, it sounds electrified. Oh my god, look at this shitty wall. He does have max lockpick, right? Yeah. Ow. Is it electric? No. Oh my god. 28%. This is gonna be a hard one. That was anticlimactic. What in the hell? The Beast and Mini Beast. <laughs> They're the same character models. They're just scaled up and scaled down. That one's got a minigun and that one's got a... Uh, katana? Sword? Strangely enough, Mini Beast, despite being about half the size, actually has like four-fifths of the hit points. Well, maybe less than that. It doesn't have that many hit points less than the full-sized one. I don't think they like me. But since they're content to just stand there and stare at me, I think I'm just going to do this. Set up my snipers, get in a nice firing line here. Well, nice-ish. What? Oh my god. I went to drag a box and I apparently clicked on the door. Fuck it. Just everybody crouch. Just don't shoot each other in the back, please. Okay. 
Okay, got them down to seven hit points before they even had a chance to take a turn. Not bad. And you're dead. Pew! I would like to see that thing move. Because it looks so freaking adorable. Oh, look at it. It's so tiny. I don't even want to kill it. It's so cute. I guess I'll kill it. I want my own mini-me. Alright, so these are all really hard. So I almost want to leave this trinket with Vulture's Cry, but I have to lockpick some stuff, too. I guess it wasn't a katana, just a makeshift sword. You should have a minigun on you, though. And you do. That thing is freaking heavy, though. I'm gonna have to process it. Let's break that thing down. 100% chance of broken weapon parts. How is it that I'm not detecting these traps? She's got 9 freaking perception. Guess I need to get it up to 10. Okay. Well, this is a fancy door for such a shithole place. Oh, this is probably where they produce the drug, right? Yeah. Comp Psy time. 62%. That is maxed, right? Yeah. I guess I'm at the end game at this point. I mean, everything is pretty much a level 10 challenge. Whoa. It's actually a completely separate instance. Interesting. Does that say where it actually takes me? Hollywood sewers. Alright, well before we go there, I want to check out the rest of this place. Yeah, I think this is where the people actually buy the drugs. I think. I'm guessing the sewers is probably where they produce them, and this is probably where people actually go to buy them. But, hmm, actually, I should end this episode before it becomes over an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it off here. Because I know if I, as soon as I go in there and start seeing what's going on there, and then I'm gonna want to go to the sewers to finish out this whole thing, and then it's gonna be like two hours, and then, yeah. Gotta stop, gotta stop, it's like a drug. It's alright, it'll be fine. Okay, so, gonna end this episode here, and in the next one I'm gonna check out what's going on through this door, which is probably where the people will be, the patrons of the salt, and then go check out the Hollywood sewers and see where they're probably producing it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.